The Denver Nuggets are much better than we thought. Going into the playoffs, the Denver Nuggets were the number one seed in the Western Conference. And although basically everybody expected them to win their first round matchup, which they did, going into the second round of the playoffs versus the Phoenix Suns, a lot of people thought Phoenix was going to win the series. And obviously people recognized that the Denver Nuggets were a very good team, led by Nikola Jokic and also Jamal Murray. But when you looked at the Phoenix Suns roster, it just felt like they had more talent. When you talk about Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton, and if they could put everything together, the public sentiment was just the Suns were the better team. But so far after two games, the Nuggets have been extremely impressive, and they currently hold a 2-0 lead over the Phoenix Suns. Now both of those victories were at home, and I guess in the playoffs you are expected to win at home, but either way, I think people don't necessarily realize how good this team truly is. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make a opinion native NBA content and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this hit that subscribe button that like button and that post notification bell I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel and if you guys are interested in that the link will be in the description but anyways let's get into it Over the years, the Denver Nuggets have been known to be one of the better teams in the Western Conference and really in the entire NBA. When you look at their records over the past three or four or even five seasons, they're always in the top five in the Western Conference and they always have a great regular season. But once it comes down to the playoffs, maybe they make it past the first round, maybe they make it past the second round, but they never make it to the NBA Finals and they never, of course, win an NBA championship. And I think due to that, I always saw the Nuggets as a really good team during the regular season season, an extremely dangerous team in the playoffs, but I never truly thought they would actually win an NBA championship. And the main reason for why I thought that was the Nuggets were always really good during the regular season. So the fact that maybe they were a little bit better one season than they were the previous, I didn't necessarily think that meant all that much. I needed to see some playoff success. And of course, the Nuggets have had some playoff success making it past the first or second round, but they never really got as far as you would really expect for a team that was a top three seed in the West. But fast forward, According to this season, I actually do think this Nuggets team is a completely different team. Now when you look at their roster, it is still relatively similar. Of course, they still have their main two guys in Nikola Jokic, who's clearly one of the best players in the NBA, and he's arguably the best center in the league. It's either him or Embiid, but I think you can make the argument for Jokic. But the Nuggets also have an extremely talented young guard in Jamal Murray as well, while also being flanked by a really nice supporting cast. So now, the question is, why do I think the Nuggets are a different team this year? as compared to in years past. Because obviously the Nuggets were really good during the regular year this year, but when you look at the past three or four or even five seasons, the Nuggets have always been similar to that. Well, the first reason that I want to touch upon is their player performance. Now, during the regular season, as I said, the Nuggets have probably been a little bit better this year than they were in years past, but that didn't really mean all that much to me personally. I needed to see how they would perform in the playoffs. And in their first round matchup against the Minnesota Timberwolves, they were able to win in five games, which was expected. But the impressive thing about that first round matchup to me wasn't the fact that they won in five games, but was how they were able to win. The Nuggets were able to get all their victories in relatively dominant fashion, and their main two guys in Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray really stepped up. Jokic was playing out of his mind basically each and every game, even in that one loss, but also the Nuggets were getting a ton of help from other guys, and they just looked like a very dangerous team in my opinion at that point. And going into their second round matchup against the Phoenix Suns, even though the Nuggets did look very good, good in their first round matchup, most people I would say expected Phoenix to win this matchup due to their overall talent. And also in my opinion, I did think it would be very difficult for the Nuggets to pull it out, but after the first two games have passed so far and the Nuggets have won both games, I kind of changed my tune on that a little bit. I still think it's extremely early in this playoff series, obviously it's only 2-0, anything could happen going forward from this point, but I think the fact that the Nuggets were able to win both of their games at home and look extremely impressive while doing so, talking about the play of Nikola Jokic and talking about the play of a lot of the different supporting guys on the roster, I do think this Nuggets team is actually a lot more impressive than they've ever been in the past. And that's the exact point that I want to touch upon, the supplementary guys. Because in years past, when you talk about Nikola Jokic, he always plays extremely well. He's Jokic, he's one of the best players in the league, and in the playoffs, he really does a nice job at elevating his game. When you talk about Jamal Murray, I would say he's somewhat of an X factor. He does have some bad playoff games at times, but I would say for the most part he plays very well. But I always felt in the past when you looked at their supplements
supplementary guys, they just never gave their main two players enough help in order to make them a very dangerous team and in order to take the Nuggets on a very deep playoff run. But when you look at the Nuggets this season, of course, Jokic is playing very well. Murray's playing very well for the most part, although he didn't play all that well in game two. But when you look at their supplementary guys, I do think they're doing a really nice job at supporting their main two players and giving them that extra boost that they really need in order to win these close games against a team like the Phoenix Suns. And obviously in this matchup so far, as it is 2-0, we really have seen the results of having that supporting cast and having guys that really hit those big shots in clutch moments. Having those guys who are able to score and keep your team afloat when your main guys come out of the game. Just having that extra umph, I would say, is a huge factor once it comes down to the playoffs. Because obviously the main guys are the main factor in the playoffs. But of course they need to rest at certain points and they need other guys to hit certain big shots. It just comes down to it and that's just the reality of the playoffs. But when your supplementary guys aren't playing all that well for you and they're not hitting those big shots for you, it makes it extremely difficult to win no matter how good your main guys are in your roster. And I do think that's the main factor for why we're seeing a completely different Nuggets team during this year's playoffs as compared to in previous year's playoffs. And I do think this team is a lot more sustainable and I wouldn't be surprised if they were able to go really far in this year's playoffs and even making it past the Phoenix Suns. Now going forward throughout the rest of this series with the Phoenix Suns, I think the Nuggets need to do a lot of what they were already able to do. Of course, their main guys need to step up. I would say Jamal Murray definitely needs to play better than he did in game two. Their supplementary guys need to continue to do what they've been doing. Jokic needs to continue to do what he's been doing. And for the Nuggets, all they need to do within these next two games is take one of them. If the Nuggets are able to win game three or game four, then they would be up 3-1 on the Phoenix Suns. And at that point, I would find it very hard to believe that the Suns would be able to come back from that deficit and beat the Nuggets. At that point, I think it's a very good chance that the Nuggets would be able to close out the Phoenix Suns and a team who a lot of people expected to be the championship favorites going into the playoffs, especially after trading for Kevin Durant. But even if the Nuggets aren't able to win either of those games on the road and it goes 2-2 going back to Denver, I still think the Nuggets have a pretty good chance to win that series because at that point, they would still have the home game advantage. And at that point, I do think they would be able to rally when they come home back to Denver. But either way, no matter what ends up happening in this series versus the Phoenix Suns and potential future matchups for the Denver Nuggets, I do think it is pretty clear that this Nuggets team is a completely different team than Nuggets teams in the past due to a bunch of different factors that I mentioned in this video. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening with the Nuggets not only this season and the rest of these playoffs, but also going forward long term because I do think the Nuggets are going to have sustained success for a very long time. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the Denver Nuggets have the chance to beat the Phoenix Suns and go forward from there or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out guys.